Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Over here at spaceweather.com, waiting on a geomagnetic storm. Geomagnetic storm, watch for this weekend as there's a large CME headed towards the Earth right now as I do this video. Also underway, a large active region, a sunspot group that's so large and so active, it's affecting the way the entire sun vibrates. Pretty big deal, and this active region loaded with sunspots is turning towards the Earth right now as I do this video. So look for a huge increase in solar activity the next couple of days that could linger around for the better part of a week. Also going to come back and take a look at this article here about the weirdest comet ever. This comet is headed towards the inner solar system. In fact, it's right here making a dive towards the inner solar system just in time for the solar eclipse. 140 days away from today, a total eclipse of the sun that's going to be joined by this very comet right here that they're calling one of the craziest comets ever seen in the sky. We'll come back and take a look at that here in just a moment. But first, over here at the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent in by Holly of an incredibly bright double-decker rainbow. Look at how low to the ground that is. Just an incredible photo. Once again, sent in by Holly. Checking in on the GOES X-ray flux over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center. Three M-class solar flares in the last 48 hours. And you can clearly see there is an increase already in solar activity. And we could see more. And here's another look at the Earth-facing side of the Sun. That massive active region up here in the northeast eastern quadrant. Checking in on the Schumann Resonance, all quiet the last 24 hours. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that, that monitor the mighty supervolcano. Quite a bit of earthquake activity over here at the, the east entrance. There was a flurry here about 24 hours ago, looking at random earthquakes scattered around the, the western half of the Caldera, and once again up here at Mammoth Vault along the northern edge. But other than that, nothing major going on at the supervolcano. Have some bonus video footage to share with you guys. Sent in by George Cruz out of Gilbert, Arizona. Right out here yesterday, this is what the sky looked like at around 8 o'clock this morning. Very low to the ground, super photogenic shelf clouds spotted from his location in Gilbert, Arizona. We've seen some rain out here the last two or three days, some very welcome rain. And these next photos were sent in by Brent out of Phoenix, Arizona from November 16th of once again stormy skies out here in Arizona. We've had measurable rain out here in our area the first time in a little over two months. Thank you for the photos and videos, guys. Really appreciate that. Just in case you haven't seen one of these in the nighttime sky, here's a great video sent in by Don out of Columbia, Missouri from last night. This is a good view of the Starlink, one of the many Starlink satellite trains that are orbiting planet Earth. This was spotted above Columbia, Missouri last night. Very bright. You can tell the skies were clear in Don's location. He looked up and had to see the, the Starlink, one of the many Starlinks orbiting the Earth. This is probably one that was just recently launched up into low Earth orbit. That is a Starlink satellite train, in case you guys happen to see one in the nighttime sky. Now going up to the International Space Station. Video footage sent in by Brent Abbott of mysterious looking debris that he noticed as one of the Dragon capsules was exiting the, the space station. Check this stuff out. It's going in all directions and you're going to see some of this stuff stop and go left. You're going to see some of it stop and go to the right. I don't think I've ever, see that right there? One came in, entered the field of view, went to the right. You're going to see one right there. Came into the field of view, stopped and turned left. How does random debris do that? This was definitely a very curious observation by Brett. Watch over here on the left-hand side of the screen, you're going to see some of this debris, whatever it was, I'm just calling it debris, enter the field of view, right here it comes, it almost stops and then turns left. Check that out. Super weird. Great observation once again by Brett from the International Space Station. This next video is also from the International Space Station, sent in by Nelson Jinks, goes back to November 16th of 2023, of an astronaut doing a walk as the space station was on the, the dark side of the Earth, and every once in a while you can notice debris bouncing off of the astronaut. Right there is an example of debris bouncing off of his leg. You can see debris bouncing around in other places. I don't know if this is some sort of ice from a comet. You can see some right there. Just small debris, nothing major, but it's not every day you, you see debris bouncing off of 
astronauts as they're doing walks outside the International Space Station. And you can see more debris down here at the bottom of the screen right there. Some over there on the right. You can see some in the center of the field of view right in here. Watch, you'll see some debris bounce off of something. You can see some right there. And it was some sort of a mysterious light blue debris that was in the field of view. Once again, as the astronaut was taking a stroll outside the International Space Station. Thank you, Nelson. Really appreciate that. Coming back over to spaceweather.com, I wanted to touch base on this comet right here. Comet 12P Pons Brooks. And the location of the comet is right here. It's diving down towards the, the center of the solar system right now as I do this video. Once again, just in time for the solar eclipse, 140 days from now. But this comet has been quite the sky spectacle. In fact, I know where it's at. It's in the northern sky in the constellation of Hercules. And if I can pull this thing in, I'm going to do a live stream on this very comet right here. They say it's visible with a telescope, so we're going to try to, to pull this thing in. I don't know if we're going to be able to get up this close, but we're going to try. Photo here by Rock out of Slovenia. There's another photo here by Elliot Herman. And you can see this thing has what almost looked like wings or something, like a winged planet. They say these things look like devil's horns coming off the, the sides of this comet. These are ice volcano eruptions that are occurring on the surface of this comet. Truly bizarre. And we're going to try to take a look at this thing in the northern sky here in the next few days. Whenever we have a nice clear night, I'm going to get out the telescope and we're going up to the northern sky to see if we can't find this comet. So I may do a live stream here in the next few days and we'll see if we can't find the weirdest comet ever in the northern sky. And here's the location of the comet in case you're interested in looking for yourself. Look in the northern sky in the constellation of Hercules just after dark. Obviously, it's going to have to be a cloudless night. You're going to need a pretty decent view of the northern sky. I'm going to start looking for this comet tomorrow night. In fact, I'm going to try tonight if it's not too cloudy and see if I can pull it in. And if I can pull it in decent enough, I'll do a live stream and we'll get a, a fairly good look at this comet that has been mystifying astronomers now for the last several weeks, displaying what are being described as wings or horns. This has been been a very entertaining comet and we're going to try to get a look at it ourselves. Thanks for the photos and videos guys. Keep them coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email come over here to the homepage of the website. You can always find a link down below in the description box look for this red banner that says have a large video. It's a drop box. Drag and drop your video into the drop box. Please include your first name, date, and location and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.